No. No. Ah, yes. Go, go, go. The minions are working on something big. Ta-da! That looks like a rocket launcher. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh? Then what is it? Ooh, ooh! Ta-da! <laughs> it was a device that changes what things look like. They wanted to know what else they could change. Henry saw what they did to the tree. What on earth do you have there? he asked. But the minions wondered if they could change him. What have you done to me? I don't fit on the track anymore. Henry complained. Unfortunately, their high-pitched laughter upset Frank. Uh-oh. One of them had a brave idea. He turned Frank into Play-Doh. They were feeling confident now and wondered what else they could change. The shark was now Play-Doh too. Unfortunately, in their laughter, they accidentally used the device. Uh-oh. An Ultron was having a relaxing day on the beach. Huh? Oh. Who did this? Um. Ultron chased them. Ah-ha! Ah! Run! Run! Ah! Luckily, they ran into Thomas. Ah, ah! Oh, Thomas! 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 What have you guys done now? asked Thomas. But Ultron was catching up, so the minions jumped into Thomas's trucks. They tried to make Thomas faster. No. No. Ah, yes! Go, go, go! They shot off. Ultron was very angry now. He was so angry, he brought in some of his evil friends. Dr. Octopus, Venom and Electro. Oh no! Ultron has help. We need a plan, said Thomas. A minion had an idea and explained it to the others. You, cried Ultron. Suddenly, Hulk arrived. Let's get them. There's more of us than them, said Dr. Octopus. But the minion used his device. No. Nope. Uh, no. Aha, yes. The Hulk was huge. He scared the bad guys away. Well, hey, yeah. Nice one, yeah. I think you need to deactivate the device before you make things even worse, said Thomas. The minions agreed. 
so everything returned to normal. Here we are, the Queen's Castle. Whoa, this place is massive! And it's filled with all sorts of treasures and surprises. Oh well, this is where you'll stay, Pumpkinhead. and we'll be able to see through that camera so no one can help you escape. We are all great supervillains. We should do something so evil it has never been done before. Like what, Darth Vader? Let's steal the English royal crown jewels. We can steal lots of gold and free all the prisoners too. Yes, but how are we going to steal the crown? I have the perfect team for the job. Oh yeah. Can them, can them. Hmm. Oh, hello! Huh? Ah, camera! What? Ooh! Uh-oh! Ow! Yum yum! Ow! Ah, there you go! Easy! Easy! Hmm! Boom box. Krona, Krona. Boom boom box. Krona. Can them. Can them. Wah. Flavok. Wahey. 
Blue Mark. Ah, Zakatori! Zakatori! Oh no! Someone's broken in! I'll call Spider Man! Hmm, the prisoners have escaped, the gold has been stolen, and the crown jewels are missing. Looks like this was done by a very smart and clever team. Whee! 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 Well done, minions. Great job. Hi, Chris here. Thanks for watching my video, which included the Minions Mega Bloks Castle Adventure. This set is great fun with so many features to play with. Ooh, temple treasure. Pups, we found the temple. Let's get back that treasure. But watch out for the purple minions. They are crazy. Rubble, break down the door. What's that noise? Uh -oh.
Uh oh. Oh no! Crazy purple minions! Oh no 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 no! No, purple paint! Purple paint! Chase, get them! Oh, run! Run! Well done, Zuma. We've rescued the treasure. Aw, so close. Minions, I have ordered some more fruit for our jelly. I need you to collect it from the Isle of Sodor. <laughs> Why have you not left yet? Go! Take Percy! Um, okay, okay, okay. Meanwhile, at Chatsworth Station... Ah, Thomas! I have a job for you. Someone has ordered some fruit. I need you to go to the grocery store and bring it here right away. Yes, sir! Thomas arrived at the grocery store. Ah, these look like the fruit I need to pick up. I'll just turn around to couple onto them. But while he was turning around, the grocery gang got into one of the trucks. Later, Percy and the Minions arrived at Chatsworth Station. Ah, you must be here for the fruit. Thomas should be here soon with them. And soon enough, Thomas arrived. Yay! Fruit! 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 Ah! <laughs> Is there a problem with the fruit? 
I can't see. Um, no, 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 no problem. No, quick, run, 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 quick, run, run. Go, Percy, go. I can't leave until Thomas leaves. Are you sure you took the fruit? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Okay, go on, Thomas. Wait, what is that? Oh no, there's evil grocery gang characters in his truck. Percy, go after him and tell him to stop. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. Stop, Thomas, stop, stop, stop. But Thomas could not hear Percy. Ah, uh, I give up. I can't catch up with Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Thomas saw the purple minion and braked. The grocery gang characters flew out of the truck into the air and landed back in the soda can. Gru had caught them. And now to sort out you, Kevin. Huh? Did you at least get the fruit? Oh, uh... Don't worry, they're still in my trucks. That's a relief. <laughs> Next time, I'll pick up the fruit myself. <laughs> I love soda. <laughs> hey guys, I've got an idea for a new game, said Ryder. So the pups arrived. OK, it's called Slide Bowling. We roll the ball down the slide and into these skittles. Whoever knocks over the most wins, he said. Let me show you. This looks fun, said the pups. Can I go first? asked Rubble. So he did. Oh no! Whoops, sorry guys. I guess we can't play anymore. We don't have a ball, said Marshall. Luckily, some minions were walking past. <laughs> Hello, said Ryder. We lost our ball. Do you have a ball we could borrow? Ooh. <gasps> Ta-da! What? Oh wow. We can play again, said Chase. So Rubble had his go again. He knocked over five. Good job. Ryder went next. The ball hit the Skittles, but he didn't knock any over, so he scored zero. The other minion then had a go. It wasn't a great shot, but it knocked one skittle over at the back, so he scored one. Chase went next. It was a pretty good shot, knocking over three skittles. Finally, Marshall had a go. Just like Ryder, he got zero too. That's it, I won, said Rubble. Not so fast, said Ryder. I think some others want to play. And along came Marshmallow, Mater, McQueen, Woody, 
Buzz, SpongeBob, Pepper, and George. Oh, and Goofy and Mickey Mouse. Hi guys, said Pepper. Can we play? Of course, said Ryder. Woody and Buzz went first. They managed to knock over two. Marshmallow then went. It was a good hit and knocked over five. The Queen and Mater then had a go. Just the two knocked over. SpongeBob went next. He knocked two over as well. Then Pepper and George had a go. It was a good shot. They scored four. And finally, Goofy and Mickey Mouse went. It looked like they'd knocked over five, but then... a two. Oops. George's sneeze accidentally knocked over the last one. So Goofy and Mickey Mouse scored six. So they won. Well done, Goofy and Mickey, said Ryder. Huh? Achoo! Oh! McQueen and Mater were tracked to Tippin. That was good fun, said McQueen. It always is, replied Mater. But are you sure we're allowed to do it? asked McQueen. Well, there's only one person who doesn't want us to do it, replied Mater. Frank! So they ran. With Frank close behind. He doesn't like water, cried McQueen, so let's cross the river. I don't think I can, said Mater, but Frank was catching up. I don't think we have much choice, cried McQueen, and he went for it. Yes, made it! So Mater then went for it. Ha ha, yes, he cried. Frank backed off. Phew, that was close, said Mater. A bit too close, added McQueen. Hmm, what's that I can hear, asked Mater. Oh no, Sheriff's after us. I didn't think we were allowed to track the tip, said McQueen. Sheriff passed by. He didn't spot us, said McQueen, but it's only a matter of time before he does. We need a disguise. He then spotted some cans of paint and had an idea. Right, if you paint me yellow, I'll paint you blue, and he won't recognise us, said McQueen. There you go, said Mater. Well, it's not bad, said McQueen, but a lot of red is still showing through. Come on, I'll paint you blue. But before he could, Ramon arrived. Hey guys, he said, I can provide you with a much better coat of paint. And he took them to his house of body art. I'll show you how it works, he said. All you do is go down the slide and into the water. Like so. He turned from red to yellow. Wow, that's amazing, they cried. There's other colours available too, said Ramon, and he showed them. He changed blue. But 
OK, my turn, said McQueen, and he went down the slide. His coat was now perfectly yellow with no red showing through at all. Look at my new coat of paint, said McQueen, and Mater painted himself a bluey green. So they all looked different. Ooh, here comes Sheriff, said Ramon, but he drove straight past. Yes, he didn't recognise us, cried Mater. Uh-oh, he's coming this way, said McQueen. Hey guys, said Sheriff, I'm looking for two criminals. Two minions? Phew, I thought you were looking for us because we were tractor tipping, cried Mater. Mater, shush, said McQueen. Tractor tipping? Mm. Well, I don't mind you doing that, said Sheriff. That's Frank's problem. So McQueen and Mater were relieved. So, if you see two mischievous minions, please report it to me, said Sheriff. Well, looks like the minions had the same idea as McQueen and Mater. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, wow. Purple. Back at the front. We'll look out for those yellow minions, said McQueen. Hey Sheriff, while you're here, why don't you get a paint job, said Ramon. So he painted Sheriff green. So all of them looked completely different now. Excuse me, don't mind us. You're not looking for us, we're different. We're not yellow, you see. <laughs>
It was raining, but Spencer and Gordon wanted to have a race. Let's race, cried Spencer. But you'll get really muddy in this rain, said Percy. Oh, I don't mind, said Gordon. And anyway, the rain will just wash off after, added Spencer. Well, OK, said Percy. First one to get to the crossing wins. Ready, steady, go! And off they went. They were soon both covered in mud. It was a close race, but Spencer just edged it. Ha ha, I win, boasted Spencer. Yeah, yeah, well done, said Gordon. We are really muddy though. Don't worry, the rain will wash it away, said Spencer. But the rain stopped. Uh oh, said Gordon. Now what? Let's go to the engine wash, suggested Spencer. But when they got there, there was a problem. The engineers were replacing it with a new one, but accidentally ordered a new shed and not a new engine wash. Hmm. What about if we use a water tower and our drivers wash us, suggested Gordon. Spencer liked this idea, but when they got there, there was another problem. There was no water. Where is all the water gone, cried Gordon. Well, to install the new engine wash, the engineers had to turn off the water. Heh <laughs> heh, sorry about that. What are we going to do, asked Gordon. I guess we'll have to travel far enough away to find a working water tower, said Spencer. I don't think I can, said Gordon. I don't have enough water left. Hmm, I guess we can call someone to deliver us some water, suggested Spencer. So they called Duck. He pushed the truck over to a water tower that worked and filled it up. He then took it to Gordon and Spencer. But the problem with pushing the truck was that he couldn't see where he was going. So he accidentally went the wrong way. He hit a buffer. Whoops, he thought. At least no one saw that. But what he didn't realise was that he now had a foamy beard. So he reversed off and carefully made his way over to Gordon and Spencer. There's Duck, cried Gordon.
There you go, said Duck. Hold on, said Gordon. Duck, since when did you have a beard? I'm, I'm sorry, asked Duck. You have a big bushy beard, cried Spencer. Do I? said a confused Duck. Oh, I know what must have happened. And he told them about his crash with the buffer. So the drivers got out and cleaned their engines. So everyone was squeaky clean. Previously on Minion Escape. What's up? Run, run. Ha <laughs> ha. Quick, vampire magic, vampire magic. Ha <laughs> ha. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, where's Bob? Uh-oh. Hey everyone, I'm Lightning McQueen, and welcome to Radiator Springs! Bob! Hey, Bob! Hey, where are you going? Bob! Bob! Where's Bob? Where are you, Bob? Minions! Ah. I found something which may interest you! Bob! 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 We need Bob! Hello! You're not Bob! 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 Rude! Are you looking for Bob? I have a plan! Quick, get closer! Okay, here's the plan! We all go to the witch's castle! I'll distract her while you minions sneak in and rescue Bob. Good plan! Ha 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 Alright, let's all go! I'll meet you there! Ta-da! Ta Ta Wait! Where's Big Minion? You 
Who's your teleporter? What's up? Huh? A couple of minions were having a walk. They came across a cave. They wanted to see what was inside. Hello? 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 The loud shouting caused a rock fall, trapping the minions inside. Oh no. Luckily, Thomas was passing by. Help! Help! Who said that? asked Thomas. We're stuck! Help! Don't worry, I'll get help, said Thomas. So he called Marshall. <laughs> What's the problem? asked Marshall. There are a couple of minions stuck in this cave. Can you help them? asked Thomas. Marshall tried to help, but his truck was far too big for the cave. My truck's too big, he said. Hmm, looks like we need to call someone else, said Thomas. So he called Chomper and Buster. But they were even bigger. We won't fit in that cave, said Chomper. Oh no, what are we going to do, asked Thomas. Well, on my way here, I passed a Tonga Tiny surprise box. It may contain a small digger, said Marshall. That's a great idea, said Thomas. So Marshall collected the Tonga box. And opened it. There was a cement mixer inside. That's a very nice truck, but I don't think it can help us clear the cave, said Buster. Well, there are other boxes. They may contain diggers, said Thomas. So everyone left to find some boxes. Chomper found the first one. There was a digger inside. Thomas found the next. There was a digger in this one too. Buster found the last one. There was a helicopter in this one. So they brought the team together. The diggers cleared the cave.
while the helicopter watched from above. The cave was soon cleared. Yay! Thank you! Don't thank us, thank the Tonga vehicles, said Marshall. They were very useful, said Buster. So the cave was clear and the minions were safe. Pepper was collecting some surprise eggs from the station. But the minions also wanted to open the eggs. <laughs> Good idea. They put down a stop signal and hid behind the trees. Quick, quick! Whilst Thomas had stopped, the minions sneaked up behind and stole the egg. Without noticing, Thomas and Pepper steamed off. The minions then opened the egg. It's Michelangelo. Ooh. Hold on, Thomas, said Pepper. We've lost the egg. We'll have to go back to the station to get another one. And off they went. Thomas and Pepper were chugging along with their new egg. However, the minions were planning to steal this egg too. In here. They hid inside the tunnel. The minions had stolen the egg inside the tunnel so Thomas and Pepper wouldn't notice. The minions started to open the egg. Inside was Queen Miranda. Ooh. Oh no, not again, cried Pepper. We'll have to go and get another egg. So they went back to the station. But the minions hadn't finished yet. Chop. Chop. They chopped down a tree to block the track. Shh, they're coming. Thomas stopped, so the minions quickly took the egg and ran away. Run! Run! The egg was then opened. Ew. R2-T2 was inside. Ooh. We've only got one more egg, said Pepper, but I have an idea on who is taking them. Thomas then reversed away. The minions were hiding on the stone arch. They're coming! As Thomas went underneath Ready? the arch, the minions Jump. jumped off and hit the egg off the truck. Yay! Haha, I've caught you this time, cried Pepper. I'm going to open this one. Aww. 
It's Fluttershy from My Little Pony. Ooh. The minions felt bad and decided to return all the toys back to Peppa. Sorry. That's all right, said Peppa. No hard feelings. Hi, I'm Mike. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on any of these pictures to see more stories. See you soon.